Okay, so today we are going to talk about how to turn our data into a graph on a program like Google Sheets. Now you probably will end up using a program called Microsoft Excel as you get older, but just for now I'm going to use my Google Sheets because it's what we've been using at the moment with our Google Suite, so I thought it would be the best way to teach you because this way everybody has access to this at home. So the first thing you need to do is open up Google Sheets, which is exactly how you open up a Google Doc file or go to Google Classroom, those little buttons at the top here when, when you're in the Google homepage, and click on Google Sheets, the ones that look like this. First thing you're going to do is you're going to title your document what your graph is going to be. So our graph today is going to be about uh, five, six W's, favorite animals. Obviously all this data is fraudulent and made up, so I doubt ca um, cats would be that popular, but it probably would be. All right, so what I've done is I'm going to give you a list of the data for tomorrow, but I'm not going to put in the percentages. You're going to find them out. But just for today, I've put the percentages in there. So I'm going to give you just the top line here, which says 5, 3, 9, 15, and 2, and you're going to figure out how to find the percentage, which would be the number over the score altogether times by 100, and you're going to write down the percentage to one decimal place. Okay. Once you've filled out that form, you're going to go into Google Sheets and try to turn it into a graph. How do we do this? Well, the first thing we're going to do up in the corner is we're going to type in the title up the top in our number one uh, row up here. So, favorite, favorite animals. And in the second column, we're going to type in number of people. Okay. Now you're going to go through, so you're going to pretend like this would be your x-axis running along the bottom of a graph if you were doing a graph, and that would be like your y-axis. So you're going to put in here horse, bird, cat, dog, and other. Now all you need to put in this section is the num the percent. You don't even need to write percent necessarily, uh, but we are going to write percent actually. So we're going to write 14.7 percent. Um, 8.8, .8. here we're going to put 26.5, this one we're going to put 44.1, and the last one we're going to put 5.9. Why didn't that come up as percent? Okay, percent, there we go. Okay, so it's rounded them up. There you go, it's rounded them up. So then we'll round this up to six then. It didn't like the decimal places being in there. Okay, so you can see underneath the video, whoops, underneath my video, there's this little star button called Explore. Hopefully you can see it. It's a pretty crazy button because what it does is it assumes what they think you want. So it's going to assume that you want data for graphs. I'm going to move my video for a second. And what it does is it just says maybe you want this. Or maybe you want it as a column graph, or a bar graph, or things like that. What do you think? Do you want these ones? And it's pretty cool, because a lot of times they can make them for you. So if you click on it, and drag it into your work, you'll see, I'm going to drag myself back over here now, that they've basically made the bar graph for you. It's pretty cool, right? So they've made this bar graph using the data that you've just typed in here, and they've done other, dog, cat, bird, horse, and they've put them all in the percentages of how many people, so exactly the percent, 26.5, but they've rounded it up in the actual thing. And they've done it color coordinated, they've had all the things. I don't really like that title number of people as the title of my graph, so we're going to have to fix that. But I mean, hypothetically, if you wanted more data, you would just then grab your bar graph, and then you've got a bar graph as well, and you can have a column graph. So you can have multiple graphs on the same topic without really that much work. So that's one of the ways in which, well, firstly, you can make a graph if you were doing it for some sort of survey you were carrying out for a subject at school. Um, but the second thing is you could also have multiple data as a way, different ways to see which way you think presents your data the clearest. Now, you can see with the graph here, there's a few things I'm not happy about. I don't really like the title. I don't really like the way the graph is that it doesn't have the percentage like that it hovers around. I want it to be actually on there. So when I click on this button here, you can see I can edit my chart. 
And when you're editing your chart, I'm going to move myself again here. I probably need to move myself all over here, actually. Um, try to make myself a bit smaller. Maybe that, that's probably better, actually. Okay, so you press Customize Chart. Now, chart style, the first thing would be changing the f fonts. Not really that important. But the one thing you could do is you could go into Maximize. Don't like that. Or you could go 3D. 3D is pretty cool, actually. I don't mind 3D. I might leave it like that for now. Background color, you can go through. I don't know why you would want that. I'm going to leave mine as like white-ish, maybe a bit of gray. Okay, so that was just in chart style. But if we go down to pie chart itself, you can see that you can label with slice label. You can choose what you want to be on each of those things. You can have the label on them, but I don't really necessarily, oh, that might not be a bad way. You can have just the percentage like that or the value. I don't know, it's up to you. What do you think is the most important part? You might think that actually labeling it like this so you can clearly see without even worrying about percentages which one is the most clear one. So I would say that would be a good way of doing it. Uh, you can change how the font stuff and then you can go to pie slice here. You can change the color of individual slices of pie. Oops, what did I do there? I liked the way it was. I thought those colors were really good. Um, and then you can go to chart style and axes. And this is where it says the title of the text. I don't like that. So I'm going to take it to five, six, W's, favorite animals. Now you can clearly see that that's, that's starting to look better. I'm starting to be happy with this. Um, there's maybe one or two things I think I still need to fix. Where would it be? I think it's in this one. No, it might be in pie chart actually. You can actually have a, a hole in the middle. See, this is a donut hole. If you wanted to have a hole in the middle of your pie chart for some reason, some people like to have theirs kind of looking a little bit different so that their pie chart actually looks more like a ring rather than actual pie. It's quite an interesting way of looking at it. You might think that works better for what you're doing or you might keep it at zero. Um, no, we already went through that. So now we've clearly, clearly... Wait, I might even want that label bigger, actually. So I might go font size 24. See, probably 24 is that the small slice in the orange one went missing. So we have to keep it small enough. Actually, it looks like it doesn't matter what I do with the small slice. It's not going to be there. I might leave mine like that, and then you can assume that the other one's other. So now you've got your pie chart like that because you went through and you labeled the categories over the side and you labeled the percentages here. And you could do the same thing again and make a different chart for that. Or you could go explore again and go and find another chart. Same thing would happen with your other chart here. If you grabbed a column chart, a column graph in here. Sorry about my picture being in the way. Uh, and you went edit graph. You could once again do the same thing. Go to customize. You can make it 3D just like before. All sorts of things like that. And now you've pretty much got a way to make your data into graphs. We might go through and talk about how to do it to a line graph. Line graphs would be a slightly different, but tomorrow I'm going to give you a set of data and it's your job to find the percentages firstly and then to put it into Google Sheets and make me a graph. You could even make several of them. You might decide that you want to make another bar graph and then you're going to go, I kind of wanted to just check out two different styles, one where it looked completely different. So you're formatting different things, chart styles and things like that. Um, just to make it look different. I know it's a bit chaotic in here at the moment, so let's just delete that and delete that and keep it back to what we actually wanted. So, what am I looking for? I'm looking for, can you use digital tools to turn your data into a graph that is easy for people to understand? Those are your rules for your activity, okay? I'll give you the data for the activity in the morning. Um, so, yeah, if there's any questions, just let me know. Thank you for watching.